This hotel conveniently gives you direct access to the BTS SkyTrain system and from there you can reach many places in Bangkok. Hello YouTube, Saudi Kraptukon. Today I'm back at the Avani Sukhumvit Hotel and yes, I did a review of this hotel already showing you the standard room but due to popular demand, I'm back at this hotel again. This time I'm going to show you the deluxe room. This hotel has two room types. This one is the Avani Deluxe Room. They also have a standard room and if you want to see that room in detail, you can click on the link above here as well as in the description because I did another review of this hotel featuring that particular room type. This room is really great though. Let's go take a tour. Bathrobe, slippers, in-room safe, bath fridge down here and let's go check out the bathroom. They have a nice big vanity, they use a millet it gets products over here, very nice products. Plenty of towels, I even like this bath mat they have here. This room has a nice big bathtub and a very big shower and of course over here is the toilet. This bathroom has many amenities and check out these little nail files, aren't they cute? This room also has a bathroom scale. A hairdryer conveniently located next to a wall socket right over here and electric blinds for some privacy. Let's go check out the bedroom. You don't even need to bring your phone charger because the alarm clock has a wireless charger and I remember last time from staying at this hotel these pillows are super soft. Coffee machine right over here, coffee capsules and more tea and coffee over here and of course kettle over here. And this room has a particularly nice view because you can see some of the city and you can even see the swimming pool. This Avani Hotel is located between Sway 81 and Sway 77 and it is literally right across from the on Nut BTS Skytrain station. The hotel offers convenient direct access to the shopping mall which is right underneath the hotel. I'm going to leave the hotel for a few minutes and go show you a nearby shopping mall called Terminal 21 as well as a beautiful park called Benzakiti Park. And with direct access from the hotel to the BTS Skytrain system, it is so easy to go there. So first, let's go get our tickets. I saw the city passing by my window. Was in the crowd, but I felt so alone. Looked at my phone like every other second. My future was blurry and numb. A tunnel where there's no light. This mall is quite unique because every floor is a different destination. We are now departing for Istanbul. And 
We are now arriving in Istanbul. I could see the sky when you were close to me. I can't believe what you now departing for San Francisco. This is San Francisco, complete with municipal tram and the Golden Gate Bridge. Wanna go see Hollywood? I you turn everything around. I will always remember it. Now departing for London. And we have arrived. How you got me off Even the toilets here at the Italian floor is quite cool. I you turn everything around. I will always remember. We are gonna give Paris a skip and rather go down to the Caribbean. Well, that was a quick travel around the world right here in Terminal 21. And now we are going to cut across the street and go have a look at the newly revamped Benjakiti Park. This is Benjakiti Park. It is connected to Lumpini Park via a skywalk. This park was created in 2004 and recently it's been added onto. They now have like a whole swamp area with like a skywalk and we're gonna go check that out very soon. This beautiful building behind me is the Sirikit Convention Center. If you are at all worried about your safety, you certainly have my stamp of approval. The park is very safe and so too is the rest of Thailand. It is perfectly fine for a woman to come jogging here in the early evening. Perfectly safe. Just don't get startled by the lizards in the park. It's quite noisy on the street, but here it is so peaceful. And the lawns here are beautiful, great place for a picnic. By the way, if you do want to buy some food for a picnic, there is a 7-Eleven in the basement of the convention center, as well as multiple street food options right here on the main road where the entrance is to the park. The park itself has walkways as well as dedicated lanes for cycling. And last time I was here, you were able to actually rent bicycles at the park. I'm not quite sure if that is still available though. This section was added recently and it includes an walkway and it does cross a couple of different areas. This for instance is the swamp area. This walkway is also great because it is elevated so it's quite breezy up here. Oh my word, and they even have an amphitheater. This park is in Sukhumvit, which is a truly bustling part of Bangkok. But it doesn't look like it, does it? This particular park is close to the Sukhumvit subway station, the MRT. Um, and it's reasonably close to the BTS station too, the SkyTrain. And that station would be Asok. It's a bit of a walk, maybe about five minutes up the road. If you do come here with your car, there is a big parking space. And if you do arrive by car, there are toilets right by the parking area.
And don't forget, in addition to the 19 kilometer no-fly zone here for drones in Bangkok, you're also not allowed to fly your drone specifically here in this park, so be careful. This was very nice, but it is time to head back to the hotel and go have a swim. In addition to paying cash for your SkyTrain ticket, you can also scan the QR code. Literally right across from the hotel is the Lotus's convenience store. And if you can't find what you want at this place, then the full-size supermarket is right over here with many, many more options as well as restaurants right inside here. I am on the ninth floor and that is where you will find the swimming pool, jacuzzi, the fitness center as well as the Avani's bar. Oh, and there's a smoking section right here on this floor. Nothing wrong with a little drink while I wait for my lunch. This is a passion fruit daiquiri. Wow, this daiquiri is absolutely amazing. Best thing I've had in weeks. But this is what I've been waiting for. This is the fish and chips. I have been craving fish and chips for the longest time and this dish is certainly taking care of my craving. I'm just being weak. Mm -hmm. I think you know that I care for you. I think you know that I care for you, I do But sometimes I can't be there for me Sometimes I can't be there, baby, can't you see? This is the greenhouse restaurant. It is stylish and it is quite vibey. The terrace out there is also really beautiful. we just colliding And we keep on fighting But we'll be okay Cause we got Unconditional love Sometimes we're just crying But we'll keep on trying I know we'll be okay Cause we got unconditional love I just ordered myself a cocktail This is a sex on the beach That is good Thank you. I got myself a ribeye with mashed potatoes and red wine sauce. And I also got myself salmon with mushroom sauce. Unlike my friend Karen, I am not a fan of vegetables, but these veggies are very good. The salmon is good. Definitely my favorite here. It's quite a nightlife out there. Uh, there's soy cowboy, soy nana, uh, which is kind of like uh, party places, maybe some red light districts too. And then there are many restaurants out there and right across from the hotel is a very cool night market. In fact, I covered that night market very well in my previous video of this hotel. And you can see that video by clicking on the link in the descriptions below. Getting around Bangkok from the hotel is not difficult. You can find taxis, buses, motorcycle taxis, the BTS SkyTrain. There are so many options right outside the door of this hotel. 
These pillows are great and this bed is very comfortable. <laughs> it makes it so much harder to wake up and go for breakfast, but that is where I'm going right now. Hi, good morning. Can I please have an omelette with a lot of cheese yep. and a little bit of ham? That's all. Yeah, sure. Thank you. This looks good. Got us up all the necessities. Bacon, sausage, omelette, coffee, orange juice. Looking at this beautiful view over here from the breakfast room reminds me of a rooftop bar not far from here. It's called the Octave and you can actually see that in my review if you click on the link over here as well as in the description below. I'm always happy to help. If you have any questions about this hotel or what to do around here or facilities around here, Please ask, drop it in the comments and I'll always reply to you. If you do arrive here with your car, the Avani does have free parking. Just make sure that you get your parking ticket stamped at the reception desk before you leave. Got myself some pancakes with chocolate and caramel. Not something you see in Thailand every day. And look at these cute little milk jugs they use for the yogurt. Right here at the Avani lobby is the coffee club. Good place for a quick meal and coffee. In fact, I'm gonna go there now. I was making my way across town, trying to get to you. I've been keeping my phone on no The coffee club is awesome. I've always enjoyed their food. This branch opens at 7 a.m. and they close at 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. on weekends. And you can access the restaurant straight from the hotel or from outside street level. There is plenty of seating inside the restaurant and there's even some seating outside too where there's a smoking section. Behind you, you can see the BTS Skytrain station called Onut. So you can really stop there with the Skytrain, nip down here for a quick coffee and be on your way again. A hurricane in my coffee cup Great, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your meal. The coffee club gave me quite a variety of dishes and drinks. Grilled pork with jiao sauce and sticky rice. Chicken Caesar salad. Coconut pancake. Iced Thai tea. Iced latte. Flat white and latte. This is a significant portion of pork here. Mm, nice and juicy. You can give me Caesar salad any day. That is so delicious. There are actually large chunks of coconut on this coconut pancake. I absolutely love coconut. My favorite so far. I think this is a good variety of drinks for different occasions. If it's uh, rainy weather like it is today, then the flat white and the latte, of course, is going to be good options. However, if it's hot like it usually is, then the iced latte would be nice to pick me up. However, if it's very, very hot and you really want to cool down, then I would say my favorite is going to be the Thai iced tea. I always try to buy these whenever I'm out walking around and it's really, really hot. I think the coffee club is a great place to come and people watch and plan your day of excursions around the city. You can find these coffee clubs all over. In fact, there's another one at the Avani Plus Hotel and I will post a link to that review of that Avani Plus in the descriptions below. 
And you can also see my review of the Anantara Riverside there, also another great resort. Again, check the description for the link of that one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also, please do like, comment and share this video. Just finished checking out at the Avani Sukhumvit after a pleasant stay. If you are not driving yourself but coming from the airport instead, then I would suggest taking a taxi to get to the hotel. That's going to be the easiest way. If you want to get your foster, then the Skype train would probably be the better option. However, you would have to change trains once.